The Surfing Violinist presents The Violin Vlog, Episode 5. The last month has thrown a couple unexpected opportunities my way, and it's become increasingly clear that it's time for me to do more live music performances. I was playing at a great little spot in St. Andrews called The Library for a special event with the Anthony Peebles Trio. Thanks to our buddy Aaron for taking such a great picture. It was a nice cozy show with a small but engaged audience, and things just clicked. I've been playing Devil Went Down to Georgia since I went to college in North Georgia, and I think I can safely say that this was my best performance of the song I've ever done. Practicing for this vlog has actually helped quite a bit. Kelsey Iman, who does a lot of performances in and around Bay County, happened to be in the audience that night and reached out to me on Instagram to be a guest performer at a weekly event called Little Fest, a chance for local musicians to play 30-minute sets in an informal, friendly atmosphere. I haven't played solo in a long time, so the week was spent in getting my solo live setup working. I put together a little playlist, but didn't get nearly enough practice in, and didn't play well at all, especially on my first public solo performance of Could Cote de Pas, but the audience was gracious. At least I broke the ice and am facing my imposter syndrome face to face. Last time I choked on stage back in Varanasi in 2016 pretty much cured me of solo prime time for almost five years. I've had two versions of recurring nightmares in my life, rushing to a violin performance without my equipment or clothes ready, and having perfect surf but the sun is setting and my board is broken. Interestingly enough, I got to face both of these nightmares in the last two weeks, and while I'm dissatisfied with my performance in both situations, I did not run home to hide, so it's progress as far as I'm concerned. I crashed the next week's little fest and jumped up on stage with Anthony and also Tyler Jones to play a little bit. We had to move my mom and my office this month, so practice has been not quite as good as the prior month. But the office space is in better situation now, and I'm trying to outfit it, set it up in such a way that it's easier to do violin recording and music production. So a little bit of progress was made this month, mostly tackling some technical difficulties, but it's one of my biggest problems. I'm probably one of the worst roadies on earth, especially if I'm having to play after getting stuff set up, but we're making progress. Got to hear a lot of live music this month, including Cody J. Bennett, whose album Know You Better is available online. Also got to hear Longleaf Drive, who features a fantastic fiddler. It was good to finally see them live. Dude really kills it. And Savannah Jane, who's got a really great voice, really honed it over the last few years. All told, some good inspiration for getting my violin back out there again in a solo setting. Until next time, keep practicing. Don't give up. And work on those technical difficulties as well, because... Uh, we're in a technological world, and if you don't deal with that stuff, well, someone else is going to have to deal with it. So, might as well be us. Thanks. To get early and ad-free access to these vlogs, become a patron or join the lineup here on YouTube. Patrons and members of the lineup will get access to download our feature film documentary, Local Legend, The Surfing Violinist Odyssey. Until next time, keep it creative, keep it cross-cultural, and keep constructive, YouTube. Thank you very much.